Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Ollie from East of England Paddle Sports. I'm here at Dedham with Andy and Nick. Hi. Um, based on the British Canoeing's recent uh, guidance of having a secondary inflatable device, we've decided to look at these Spinlock Alto uh, quick release flotation aids. So we're here at Dedham, we're going to set them off, we're going to pull them, we're going to see what happens, um, and yeah, we're going to check them out. So, this is the belt, um, it's got an adjustable waistband. You just clip it round your waist. It's got a nice Velcro piece to take up the slack. And on the instructions, it says you wear it on your back. And the little toggle to pull is here. So I'm gonna pull it while we're on dry land so you can see what it looks like, how it goes. And then we'll do some pieces in the water uh, so you can see what it's like in the water. We'll then show how you repack it. But, so here we go. So a little toggle there and you just pull it. And once it's pulled, you pull it round yourself like that. And in the water you can then in the water you can then lay back on it. And it's got a little tube here where you can blow it up a little bit more if it hasn't inflated. So that's it inflated. So here's the inside of it. As you can see, that's the bag it's stored in. Here's the gas bottle that inflates it and that's the little trigger uh, that is on the end of the toggle and that's the plastic cap that sits over there when it's waiting to be pulled. So quite neat and it's also got lines and instructions on what the folds are for when you repack. So we'll now try one in the water. Once you get it around under your arms, I'm really buoyant. This is actually quite comfortable. So I've been in the water for a little while and I'm using this uh, as a float. And do you know what? I'm actually, I'm, I'm a fan. The way that this sits keeps my head out of the water. I can't really lean back. If you're not a person who wants to wear like a big buoyancy aid, maybe you don't have to. If you can get one of these belts, they come with refill kits so you know that you can reuse them. So something that we um, thought might happen is it could be maybe difficult to get back on your board. But we're going to try it now. It's around the back of me. I'm going to get on like I normally would. It's still on. I'm really impressed. So, that's all the air out. And you can see on here, there are lines to show you how to fold it and when. So, fold it there and there, 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 there. And that's ready to go back in the bag. Just before we do that, you have to recharge the gas cylinder and put a clip back on. So these come in little packs of two. Take the old cylinder out. Push the red clip back with the green clip over it. So that now rearms the trigger mechanism to the toggle. Put the new gas bottle on, and then tuck it back in the bag. And it's ready to use for the next time. Fairly simple.
Right, okay, so in summary of our review for today, um, the, the plus points are that it's really comfortable to wear, it's really small weight, so it's not one, it's not a buoyancy aid that's going to get in your way or obstruct your paddling. Um, if you do fall off and you feel that you don't need to inflate it, with it uninflated it's easy to get back on the ball. But as you can see, when it's inflated as well, with the ring around you, it is really easy to self-recover yourself uh, onto your ball. Um, the only bit we would say is on the toggle side of things, it is quite small to fly in, and you may have seen when I fell off my ball, it takes a good, a good couple of seconds, probably less than 10 seconds, to so actually just reach around, find that self and inflate it. Inflates really quickly, really buoyant. You can see we've got three different sizes of people here. It kept us all afloat really well. So all in all, a very positive uh, review.